Hi guys, just a quick video. It's me, Crystal. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I've just come back from walking Max. It's uh, freezing cold. <sighs> Siri, what's the time? It's 7.18 p.m. Alexa, what's the temperature this evening? This evening, you can expect showers in partly cloudy skies with temperatures around 4 degrees Celsius. By the way, would you like to unwind with our relaxing sound recommendation of the day? Sleep sounds of rainforest. Right, go, guys, I've got an Alexa in the bedroom, Alexa in the living room, and I'm talking to Siri here. Siri, what's the weather like? It's currently cloudy and 43 degrees. Right, so I'm doing what I usually do. Um, take my dog out for a walk in the evening. I've been by myself all day. I spoke to my mum very briefly this morning. When it starts to get dark early, I don't know about other people living by, by themselves, but I start to feel to get a little bit down and depressed. Um, I saw one person outside walking and then one person walking outside when I was coming back, someone with long black hair down her back, uh, clutching a shopping bag. And I've just come back into my flat. Um, it is freezing cold. Um, I don't take Max out for such a long time. I used to go right round the field in the pitch black with a torch. I don't do that anymore. Um, I don't think it's safe. I don't think it's necessary. So I just walk Max just around the block. Um, it's been harsh today. Harsh. Um, normally I go up and see my mum every week. So I've got someone to chat to, someone to see. I haven't been into the co-op uh, since early last week, I think. I can't remember the last time I went into the co-op, to be fair. Um, people are putting up Christmas trees together. I look up outside my window, I can see couples putting the Christmas tree lights on, putting the decorations on. Um, it reminds me of when I was married and when I had kids. So you're bound to feel a bit low and depressed. I don't want another Christmas like last year. I've got an adorable kitten who is like keeping me occupied. So I'm grateful for the roof over my head. We've got to remember the people that are homeless on the streets this Christmas. Um, I know in Medway a few years back, people died in the cold weather conditions. So I'm grateful for what I've got. I really am. I've got a wonderful dog. I've got a lovely home that I live in. I live in a lovely area. So just depression is something that creeps up on all of us. Sometimes there's absolutely no reason for it. And I don't want to feel depressed. I don't want to feel unhappy. It's just, it just creeps up on you in the evening. I haven't gone to Rochester Christmas Market because I haven't been able to. I haven't had the finances. So, we'll see what happens. Yeah, it is annoying getting things in the post when you want it to be nice and it turns out to be nasty and doesn't fit. It is a bit of a kick in the teeth, so to speak, but there's nothing I can do about that. I'm not going to moan about it. You just learn from, from that and I should be buying uh, items from shops in future and not online. The housing have replied to me, you know, Medway Council. And they have Kent Home Choice. Dear Miss Marshall, please log into your account to review any outstanding actions or view new messages. So I, apparently I need proof of current address, 
identification for adult that's all it says i've tried to get into my account i can't just you have outstanding actions so when i log into the account maybe i will be able to see what these outstanding actions are I haven't had a response from the police yet, that's too soon. Um, so that's all that's happened at the moment. Um, I don't do bad stuff, I get angry, I get upset, but I don't pinch, I don't steal. And I just get on with my life. Because that's not the way to be nasty, is it? It doesn't get anybody anywhere. Um, this used to happen to me at my other address. And I used to be in dire situations. On one occasion, I had to go and get... I had to go up to the CAB to get a food stamp so that I had food to eat. Now, it's not as bad as that. Um, you do what you think is best and you give people money to help them out and then certain things happen where you find that you need help there's no one there to help you but yourself so you get on with it but the whole intention of it is to strip me of everything i've got to make me walk the streets and maybe they want me homeless in the gutter i don't know but I'm not going to get cross. I certainly don't attack people. And, I, you know, we've got to remember that there are homeless this Christmas. There are elderly people on their own suffering depression. They've lost their partners and they're on their own. And I just think that because I am not answering the person's messages and their emails and whatever they are now trying to attack from a different angle which i'm just going to have to accept and cope with um so i would deal with that um i've got my christmas lights up i've got my christmas tree up um i've got everything ready for christmas my food shopping is waiting so I've got a slot for Christmas because last year I had fuck all. Last year I was on my own and I had fuck all. And I w should have gone up and spent Christmas with my mother. But I didn't think I was going to be on my own at Christmas. And I was. So we'll see what happens this year. Um, I'm tired of nasty surprises. And then, you know, it's not nice to do that. To get someone's hopes up and then something no i'm not doing that and that doesn't happen um it is a nice flat it's a nice area and i've got somebody or, or, or a group of people intent on trying to destroy me and i am just getting on with it but you wake up with every intention to be happy, to blow balloons up, to get on with your life and then someone comes and like throws water over the fireworks. You know what I mean? You might be feeling great and it's like someone throwing a bucket of water over you. You feel horrible. Um, I shouldn't be feeling down. I don't know why I am. Maybe it's because every time I try to make myself happy, by myself something, it turns out to be a load of crap. I don't know. So all I'm saying is I've just come back from taking my dog for a walk. I hope everybody has a lovely evening. Um... All I had was this pervert stalking me. And it's like internet scammers. These women that are being conned out of their life savings and the roof over their heads. 
believe that someone loves them and they don't, it's a scammer. So this person was occupying almost 24 hours a day of my time making out they were a friend and in fact they were the exact opposite. And when they don't text it's totally blank, it's dead but I don't want bad text messages, don't get me wrong. But that's, they were absorbing my time, absorbing my energy and when they disappear I don't know what to do. You know what I mean? It's weird. So I'm going to put um, the telly on. I'm going to make myself a nice hot drink. And, and then we, we, should, we should start to, tomorrow the same way. My mum rings up this morning. She hasn't rung this afternoon. She hasn't rung so far this evening. Um, someone else has died, unfortunately, uh, um, a member of Killing Joke, and um, some person called Kevin as well. So it's it's just sad, isn't it? A guy of 64 out of Killing Joke, the band Killing Joke has passed away, and somebody called Kevin... I don't know what's going on in this world. I really don't. I want to smile, I want to be happy, and then it just gets wiped off your face. Um, so I'm just going to get on with things. And um, if I can't, um, if, I, if I don't have company this Christmas, I may try and make somebody else happy um, by doing something nice for somebody else. See you later. <laughs>